Hey, I'm back. And you know, I've talked a lot about herbs recently. Now I want to talk about a slightly different effect that certain herbs and spices have. Anti-glycation. Okay, now what does anti-glycation mean? Glycation is a word used to describe a situation where you have glucose combining with a protein or glucose combining with a fat in a certain way that makes that protein unavailable. If you think about it, you have all these different proteins in the body that are doing millions of different functions. And if you have this glucose molecule that locks in there and morphs with it and makes that protein unavailable, and then that dysfunctional protein or the dysfunctional fat creates all sorts of problems in the body. So we call that term advanced glycation end products. And there's several concepts out there that talk about aging being the accumulation of the advanced glycation end products. So that's the simplicity of glycation. You're morphing this sugar with a protein or fat, and you're creating irreversible damage, and also massive free radical damage that then ends up in the cascade of effects that can occur. There are several potent spices and herbs that are very strong inhibitors of advanced glycation end products, and these are the most potent. So we have anise, we have cinnamon, so you can sprinkle this on your cinnamon toast. I'm being very sarcastic. Allspice, which is actually one word, it's not two words. And another name for allspice is Jamaican pepper. Okay, it's a very specific type of spice. Very potent to give off anti-glycation properties. A clove is very, very high, and so is oregano. But what I want you to realize is that if your diet is not right, these herbs are not going to do anything. They're not going to work. So you want to obviously do a low glucose diet. That's why a low carb diet also is a strong inhibitor of AGEs. Exercise is another potent inhibitor of AGEs. And then of course, another very powerful inhibitor would be fasting. Okay, So the combination of all these would be very, very good. But if you're cooking with different foods and things, try to include some of these herbs and spices just to give you a little additional help to reduce the effects of advanced glycation end products. Thanks for watching. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before